Lynn. Well, I hope the fact checkers are turned up and turning up the volume and really working hard. Donald supported the invasion of Iraq. Wrong. That is absolutely Wrong. proved over and over again. Wrong. We actually advocated for the actions we took in Libya and urged that uh, Gaddafi be taken out after actually doing some business with him one time. Jill Stein. Um, so this is another example of why we need to open up these debates, because mostly they are arguing um, Secretary Clinton and Donald Trump are arguing about their record and who said what when and when did they take various positions. We're not discussing the fundamental fact that we have a catastrophic failed uh, policy of regime change, of uh, a foreign policy based on economic and military domination, which is blowing back at us big time. If we want to have peace at home, we need to achieve peace at abroad. And and uh, in the words of Martin Luther King, peace is not simply the absence of violence, it is the presence of justice. So let's look at our foreign policy. What have these regime change wars accomplished? They've cost us five to six trillion dollars since 9-11. Uh, that which comes out to about $50,000 per American household. Tens of thousands of U.S. soldiers have been killed and maimed, over a million people killed in Iraq alone. And what do we have for all of this? What we have to show are failed states, mass refugee migrations, which are tearing apart the Middle East and um, Europe, for that matter, and worse terrorist threats. They are not getting better. They only get worse with each turn of the cycle of violence. So we need a new kind of offensive in the Middle East, what we call a peace offensive in the Middle East, and it begins with a weapons embargo. Since we, the United States, are supplying the weapons directly or indirectly to uh, all parties, all combatants on all sides, and we are the major supplier of weapons to the region, as well as around the world. It's clear that we have enormous power here to initiate this weapons embargo and to work, in fact, with the Russians to achieve it also, because they, too, are paying a price that they cannot afford for these failed wars. In addition, we need to put a freeze on the bank accounts of those countries, largely our allies, who are continuing to fund terrorist enterprises. Uh, Hillary Clinton's own leaked emails uh, as Secretary of State identified the Saudis as still the major funder, even many years after 9-11, still the major funder of terrorist uh, Sunni jihad enterprises. We got this started. We can put it to work.